Well, hello, I'm still here. <laughs> Ryan's being lazy again, so. Uh, yeah. Um, on, our, on our next match, we have Nelson versus Melvin. Um, this is actually one match I think Nelson is not going to enjoy fighting. <laughs> Especially, well, Melvin, we've seen, uh, he's actually, both of them are very experienced players in our local meta game. They've both been top cut. Uh, Melvin actually has one PC win. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And uh, they play very standard teams, I think. Personally, I think Nelson is a scary opponent to fight. He has a poker yeah, face that yeah. makes you feel yeah, a bit yeah, nervous. Yeah, he, he, he has a tendency just like... Yeah, it's like, whenever things are going right or wrong for him, he'll just... He'll just nod his head and like... Yeah. Then he'll just stare at him like, wait. But did I do the right thing? Is yeah. he expecting it? Yeah. But at the same time, Melvin is a very safe player. So I'm not sure whether he will be affected by Nelson like we would be, but yeah. we'll see. Nelson, in general, his playing style is a bit more active, a bit right. more. Seems like the player is going to be starting soon, I think. Yes, I think so too. Uh, so we'll probably get to see them. I actually want to see who, who this battle because if Nelson's poker face actually does well, he's gonna totally just take this game. But if it doesn't, Melvin's just gonna. I mean, it's no. kind of weird to say with a yeah. match it depends on whether yeah. Melvin can. Uh, um. No, I would say it's whether Nelson can call Nelson uh, Melvin's safe place and whether Melvin can call Nelson's place and his poker and face. Poker face, yes. yes. But yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. making plays is quite important in Pokemon, and yeah. especially uh, in most matches, you are sitting in right in front of your opponent, so that poker yeah, face that you have yeah, can yeah. actually affect the psychology. And yeah. I mean, I always feel a bit stressed fighting Nelson because I have no <laughs> idea whether he knows what I'm doing or not because I've been playing him for so yeah, long. Yeah, he will just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nelson... But Melvin's always been a very safe player. He's very um, he'll go for the safest option always if that's if it's possible. But at the same time, it's like you you know that he knows that he's going to go safe. So yeah, I mean going for a safe place actually can. Uh, it seems like and gonna, we, I think we go go into team review already. So um, let's see what uh, the players are using. Then. And uh, on Melvin's side of the field, I th wait what? Why is there two Kangaskhans? Oh uh, oh, there was a slight error. Sorry. I, I think it's a slight error. Uh, I think on Melvin's side of you, we see Kangaskhan, Thunderous, Sylveon, Aegis Slash, Landers, and Heatran. Wow, actually, this is kind of kind of different for Melvin. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Nelson has uh, while the team season updates, but... I'm, I'm actually surprised, because I remember Melvin's team, he usually never changes it. It was like Kangaskhan, uh, Aegis Slash, Terrakion. I don't think it was a Sylveon. There was always a Thunderous and Heatran, but I don't think it was a Sylveon. So he actually took out the Terrakion for the Sylveon, which was actually quite, quite. A, I think it's actually quite a big change. Yeah, for I mean, him. you did you did mention earlier on the team was similar to Melvin's with the Terrakion, especially the Terrakion, Lagria, yeah, yeah. Sylveon, Kangaskhan, and yeah. Now with the absence of Terrakion, this I mean, um, I'm going to assume that Nelson's team is Bishop, Stalin Flame, uh, Landorus. Thunderous and probably uh, Kangaskhan and Cresselia maybe? I'm not quite sure. Oh! Oh, it's a zoom arrow. It's a zoom arrow. Oh, so it's also a very priority heavy team. And if Melvin still had his uh, Terrakhan, that might actually help if it had Quake Card. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't see Terrakhan here. And the thing is, Bishop actually seems to have a very good matchup versus Melvin. It's like, Sylveon doesn't want to fight yeah. it, Landorus doesn't want to fight it, Aegis doesn't want to fight, fight it. it. Landorus, yeah, Landorus wouldn't want to go into it. Yeah, and so we start, we are going to go straight into the battle. We are going to see what happens. Um, like we said, we, we, we were saying Bishop wasn't that popular. And now you see Bishop right here actually being able to have a very significant advantage here and you uh, see, see Azumari and Kangaskhan coming out. Quite a, quite a threatening lead, uh, especially versus uh, Melvin's Kangaskhan and Heatran. Azumarill obviously has the advantage versus uh, the Heatran type-wise. Kangaskhan's always have the 50-50 and Heatran might not want to actually stay in here. He might actually just switch off for the Landris at this it point. It is kind of in a grave danger against Azumarill yes. especially. Yes, however the thing is if he switches off for the Landris, if he switches out for um, I don't Landorus know. Landorus will still get hit. He, um, he doesn't He doesn't want to let that Zoom Arrow get the belly drum off. But if he ignores the Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan can easily take a KO here or at least chip damage here. I mean, one obvious move here to prevent the belly drum is for Melvin to pick out the Zoom Arrow, yes. but what's next? Yes, and, and for all we know, if, if he switches out Land, he switches out Heatran for Landorus, then yes. if Nelson reveals power up punch on his Kangaskhan, he is going to be in the great danger here. There's a, Nelson, uh, Melvin, sorry, is not really in a great position yes. just by the fact that Azumar is there. Azumar can set up and the danger of the setting set up kind of puts Melvin in a tough yes. position. Why would he switches out? Yes. It's still disadvantageous. And to be fair, Melvin, Melvin's team does not actually have a very good advantage with Azumar. And I think Nelson is calling him out on it. And we don't see any switches 
or wait, do switches happen now? Yeah, yeah, we don't see any switches. Uh, Kangas Khan Mega evolving on Nelson's side, but Melvin decides not to go for the Mega Evolution. Heat wave coming out, Melvin decided that maybe the best thing is to just go straight for the attack. And we do see the power up punch coming from the Kangas Khan. Straight all two minutes from Kangas Khan, probably thinking that he was switching out to the Lender. Yes, yes. Uh, probably calling it, but Melvin, Melvin, going. What does, does Melvin does he go for? Does he go for the low kick? No, he goes for the return into the Azum Arrow. And that turn just went pretty perfectly for Nelson here. Now he can yes. just set up belly drop. Any attack that Melvin directs towards the Kangaskhan can be just mitigated away with Sucker Punch because it does seem in the middle. Yeah. Melvin yes. tried to think of uh, trying to avoid fake out here by not Mega Evolving. However, Nelson actually ends up going for a straight power yeah. punch instead. Yeah. Uh, Azum Arrow protecting. Uh, Nelson making the plays. Nelson yes. making the plays. Um, Admittedly, if he does switch to Landris in now, he might be able to survive the Sucker Punch and do damage to the Azum Arrow. Actually, one good player I think Melvin could have done probably is switching to uh, Land maybe switching to Landris, sure. But maybe attack straight into the Kangas Khan instead. Because as you can see, he's trying to attack straight into the Azum Arrow. But at the same time, protected. But at the same time, if he didn't attack straight into the Kangas Khan and Azum Arrow, if any, and Azum Arrow got the belly drum off, he'll be in danger as well. So it's I think, a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a 50-50 I can't exactly call it a 50-50, Melvin yeah. is still disadvantageous right yeah. otherwise, but it is a tough call for Melvin, so I can't really him there right now. Yeah, I don't think he's actually switching out his uh, Heatran at all at this point of time. He probably just want to suck it, because he, he knows switching out will just get him damaged for no reason. Sucker Punch going out onto Mega Nar, uh, nice. probably within Heat Wave kill range to be honest. Return going off, probably taking out Kang's gun, maybe expecting a Landry switch in that slot. Probably. But I think Heat Wave will be able to take out the Kangaskhan at this point, at this health. If it does come out, we see the world have to be moved Probably going to go for the belly drop. drop. Does it get the belly drop? I mean, a will be useful, yeah. Yes, but, nah, but even with belly drop, drop, I mean, with belly drop, you kind of... Even without the, with the burn, Azuma is still going to be a powerhouse. Yes, yes. And now we see that it's going to heal itself back to maybe 50%, 65%. Now anything that Melvin sends it is alright in danger. If he yes. sends it a Landorus, he's in danger. He sends it... Uh, Thunderous in danger, Aegislash in danger, Sylveon even... In and nothing yeah. in Melvin's team, the only thing that Melvin can work around with now is the fact that Azuma cannot... Double target. Yeah, cannot yes. double target. But Melvin, uh, if but Melvin does call his protect right, so uh, I mean it depends on what partner Melvin yes, actually yes. decides to send out. But yes. uh, depending on the situation, if Melvin protect correctly, he actually turn a bit. He might be around. able to. It's yes. not over yet, especially since both Mega Pokemon, both Mega Kangas guns are out of the battle. But we do see Thunderous coming in, um, and this shark on Nelson's side. This shark not exactly the safest switch into a Heatran here. Interesting uh, that he sends out Bishop though. I mean, what else? What other Pokemon do you think he would have? I, I think if, if he brought out Bishop, it's most likely the Tainum Flame of the land. I, I would say it's the Tainum Flame of the uh, land. I doubt it's the Landers. Landers would have been uh, dealt with the situation a lot better. I mean, sure, he probably can't really earthquake, but... Yeah, but at the same time, Thunderous is a very good switch here for Melvin because he can, even though Thunderous is probably going to be taken down by the Azumarill, there's a chance that he can get a paralysis off onto the Azumarill and maybe fully paralyze the Azumarill. If he's a bit dairy, he could try to go for a Swagger as well. I mean, yeah, Azumarill yeah. will damage himself quite yeah. a lot. Sure, it's not going to increase think, attack, but... I think it might actually be enough to take it out. Uh, we do see the Bishop going for the Protect, probably not wanting to take the Heat Wave. And Melvin does go for the Thunder Wave on the Azumarill. Hoping for the paralysis, I would say. Speed, the speed drop's not gonna matter at all. It's, oh, oh my god! This does happen! Um, heat wave! Comes, here it comes out. Does it hit a Zubaril? But it's not gonna burn at this point, burn, but it's still yeah. doing it. If, if, this is actually it's a critical <laughs> hit. Oh, this is actually pretty bad for Nelson because I think he was targeting, targeting the heat trend at this point. Yep. And and taking out the Heatran would be important to save the Orbit Shop, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, he can always go for it in the next turn, but if Paralysis hits again, this is going to be very bad for him. And yeah. it, he needs to take out the Heatran for his Bishop to be safe. It yes. is still a 3 3 situation. If you do lose Bishop too early and have a uh, Paralyzed as a barrel, it is too big of a risk for Nelson. Yes. Uh, but at the same time, if he ignores the Thunderous, he can, well, at this point, I think Azum Arrow has free. If, if Azum Arrow can take out the Heatran, I think it will have done his job, and Nelson will be quite happy to let it go. But we'll see. Uh, we do see that the Bishop switches out in favor of Crocus. I think that's the Landorus. Landorus, yeah. I mean, Nelson did not take out Hatred as early as he wanted to, so unfortunately he has to switch back his yes. Bishop to save it. Uh, and we see the Heatran going for the Protect. Very safely for Melvin, like we said. Let's see whether Nelson actually calls it correctly or not. Aqua Jet going on to the Thunderous! Oh, good call there by Nelson, knowing that he Protect. Thunderous just goes down. Melvin not going to be able to do anything this turn. 
That's a very good thing. Nelson has been really making the calls. I mean, you would think that even with all his uh, uh, offensive Pokemon, he would have some sort of advantage. But Melvin actually was in a position to actually recover from whatever thing, whatever from the Zumero being a plus six belly drum and plus five. Melvin right there was a bit, maybe a bit too defensive. I'm sure if. Uh I quite tell Zeke go to Hitchin, I Hitchin. He will have won, he will have won. But Melvin, if Melvin just attacked with his Thunderous, leaving both out in the open, at least he could have taken down the Azumarill and then traded one for one. Yes. And then it will be a good trade since Azumarill is plus six anyway right now. Yes, but now now, now Melvin's down to his last two and while Bishop in the back does not want to face either of these two head on, if Azumarill can get through paralysis and get an attack off this turn, I think it might be safe to say that Nelson probably will have to win. Aqua Jet does have happen, Paralysis does not hit it again, and there goes the Heatrin. Uh, now it's Landris on Melvin's side versus Nelson's uh, last three Pokemon. Ghost Light does come out, I mean, what are the hell? What is this going to do during this moment, so... Rock Slide also coming out from uh, Melvin's side. Unfortunately, Melvin went second, so... Yeah. It does take out the Memorial, but a bit too little too late. Now, at this now point, can just yeah. Come and we see the life coming from the Landers. At this, so I think it's safe to say at this point that... Um, choice card versus life off? Choice, it would depend on whether... I would think actually um, Nelson's pretty much has his seal. Uh, even if he does take out the, the Bishop, he still has to deal with the Landers. And regardless, Bishop just needs to use Sucker Punch in order to deal a lot of damage to the Landers right now. Yeah, the protecting won't do you any good, Melvin. You are, you are kind of not really yeah, a good position I think otherwise. He might be trying to go and just hope for maybe Rock Slide Miss and then stalling Sucker out all the Sucker Punch. Yeah. Sucker Punch does not have a lot of DP, so stalling it out and uh, hoping that Rock Slide Miss might be a good viable strategy. I mean, it's probably your best hope at this moment. But actually, Bishop is just for that. Nelson, I'm, I guess he just... He just doesn't want to face uh, Sucker Punches. Or rather, he, I think Nelson has figured out that, um, we, that as long as he can get uh, that land into the Bishop KO range, it doesn't really matter if the yeah. Rock Slide misses from there on out. So now all he needs to do is just press Sucker Punch and the Rock Slide, he's got yes. Melvin completely hit. If, if Melvin attacks, he gets hit by Sucker Punch. If he doesn't attack, he gets, he gets hit, hit by Rock Slide. And he'll, he'll, he's going down. And we do see a Sucker Punch. And we see Nelson sealing the game. The Zoom Arrow really can't punch it out for Nelson here. Yep. Wait, the Zoom Arrow plus 6. So who wants to face the plus 6? Okay, yeah. Sure, Zoom Arrow's draw set is good, but... He has huge power, yes, he has belly drum, drum yeah. and huge power pretty much just doubles your attack straight from there, so... Yeah, <laughs> Nelson uh, taking out Melvin! Actually, I was, I'm quite surprised by this turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was expecting uh, Nelson to be a bit taken aback by Melvin's safe play. And to be fair, Melvin almost did have it. Yeah, that, how about that turn that he actually protected on Heatra and did get hit by Alpha yeah, Jet on, yeah. the on the... Thunderous, like, Thunderous, yeah, Thunderous, Thunderous, Thunderous. And that was that was pretty much the third, the round that the turn that kind of lost hopes in yeah. him winning at all that round. And we see Isaac uh, actually congratulating Nelson in their usual friendly manner. Yeah, fortunately, you can't see yeah, our streams. It's just both of us here. Yeah. Uh, so right, I think we'll be having Nelson up for the player interview yeah. soon. So let's have Nelson up, and then after that will be round five. five yeah. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, we're back with Nelson here, we're winner of round 4, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, firstly, I have to say, I was very strong. <laughs> yeah, I was very pretty much just dominated the game right there. Uh, the first game was actually quite, uh, the first time it was quite a cool call. Uh, you protected your Azumarill, were you expecting like a fake out or something from there? Uh, yes. From uh, my previous round, right, uh, I, I, I expected most Kangaskhan to have inner focus. Uh, 
and it almost costed me round three. So I, I decided not to make the same mistake. Yeah, I mean that was a good call. You did go straight for the attack, uh, and protected anyway, just in case. Uh. Yep. And um, I remember there was a turn where he turned and th was it Thunderous attack, and then the next time he turned protected, you targeted Thunderous. Uh, uh, what made you? Uh, I'm actually quite curious about that call because you see your opponent was uh, attacking recklessly with Hitra in face of an uh, Aquatet plus 6 Azumarill. But he, what made you actually not take that out instead? Or is, when you targeted Thunderous anyway? Um, I knew that Thunderous would not carry Protect normally, so I took the risk in doing so. I and mean, the risk did pay off, Hitra protected. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a great play by, now, by him, unfortunately, but it did pay off for you. You did go straight for the attack. Um, you, anything else that really your Zumira, was Zumira really your key factor in your team? How's your previous matches been going on, actually? Um, I m try to lead Kanga Azu most of the time, except in cases where there are many threats to Azumiro. Oh wait, maybe let's not say that right now because we still have two more since rounds to go. Yeah. So I mean once again congratulations for uh, round four yeah. and hopefully we see you in the top card. Yeah, thank right. you.